Welcome back behind the velvet robe. Let's just get right into it today because we are here with the one and only Sarah Foresia. How jealous were you of Dorit Kemsley out at a horse farm out in Calabasas or wherever, smoking a cigarette, just dragging one? Ah, don't you wish you were out? Don't you wish it was okay to smoke again? It, she just looks so cool. She was walking around on the cell phone, cigarette. Ah, do you Be like awesome. to have a cigarette once in a while? No. Oh. No, no, no. I've smoked like six cigarettes in my life, maybe. And oh. Oh. I mean, I was drunk. Apparently you love to smoke. You know, Luann loves I, to I, smoke. I, I'm not I, just I, saying that. No, but I'm not, it's not it's like Luann. I mean, a lot of the housewives love a, love a cig. They love a cig. So it's Gwyneth Paltrow, Gwyneth Paltrow, even though she's a founder of Goop. Right. Gets- Isn't that a little... Uh, well, it's funny. I, you know, my husband and I don't have a ton of friends in Los Angeles, but we did, we did go out with a friend group and we met some new friends this past weekend. And the, one of the guy is just a um, genetics, a professor and doctor of genetics. And he talks about um, the worst thing that you can do and put in your body's alcohol. Alcohol is the, by far the, I know, and you and I love a cocktail. Ooh. And I said, worse than cigarettes? And he said, well, what's interesting is cigarettes really impact like the lungs and like some other cancers, but you'd, now look, I don't want to say this because I don't want, I am not a doctor, but basically he's like, if you had one or two cigarettes a week, it would probably be better for you than alcohol. But mm. big asterisks, don't, do not start smoking. Do not start smoking. Because like he said, it, it's very hard to tell because some people's genetics are very predisposed to lung cancer. So if you had one to two cigarettes a week, that might, you know, they, they don't know who's what, what combo of genetics are predisposed to that. But in general, alcohol is the biggest leader to cancers more what? than six. what, what, what I, know. I, I was depressed and I took a big swig <sighs> of my glass of wine. I said, God, I love booze I and love I love a cigarette and it ain't a good combo. He said, and, and if anything, You'd be better off having maybe one cigarette a week. But who's going to have one cigarette? You're going to have really one cigarette? No one has one cigarette. I only have like, depends. If I go out two nights a week, I at most have six martinis a week. <laughs> a week? That's not, I mean, that's not a lot. Honey, what? I used to, well. That's a lot. Honey. Martini, it's all vodka. At most. And my norm is probably four. And if I only go out one night a week, I only have two. I used to go to the Regency every night with Harry Dubin. Every night I would get drunk with Mr. Dubin and have two to three martinis a night. Three times I had like 21 martinis a week. My doctor wasn't happy. I can't, either. I can't judge because for years, I mean, I'm talking till my till I was probably 35. I mean, every weekend. It was just oh hungover. Man. I mean, I, I'm in the Probably the same, uh, and it's terrible. But they, they, he basically said that's like the worst, like the worst thing you can do for your body is alcohol. I mean, life. Yes, life is way, way, way too stressful. And when that first sip of vodka touches your, I know, I know. lips, I like it. I know, heaven. Um, but I yes, Dory does like smoke. It. Okay. Um, speaking of people that smoke or are smoking or on fire, uh, rumor is, I mean, I think this rumor has just started because of Mr. Perez Hilton, but apparently it's from a very reliable source that Miss Leaks, Nini Leaks, is heading to the Zeus Network with a talk show of her very, very own. What do you think about this? I love it. I think this is a fabulous fit. I love, I hope it's true. Good for Perez. Perez is living his most best life. You've had him on your show. I've had him on mine. Uh, His best life in um, Vegas. And although he's despised by the younger generation, he is one of the greatest. I do believe he'll be remembered as one of the greatest, just like our our friend Joan Rivers. And uh, because he, he changed the entire gossip game that is what you now know as TMZ and every, every entertainment outlet. But anyhow... Um, I love it. She should be a talk show host. I think this is phenomenal. Do you think I, I, I can't wait. I'm in anticipation because we need a good talk show. We need, a, you know, Wendy is never coming back ever. No. So where is our messy shady? Is that going to be when is that going to be Nini? 
is there going to be somebody we always say because Wendy said it are you of the people or of you are you of the industry and most people are of the industry and I get it it's very hard and once you meet you and I've met tons of housewives you, you know you, you want to be kind and it sucks to like meet them and you like them but then your job is also to critique them it's it's very hard but is Needy going to be that voice I love it do you think this is real you seem less enthusiastic no, I think this, look, I stand by what I said. I don't think Nini will ever be back on Bravo. No. I don't think Nini will ever be back on NBC. And Andy could be fired. I mean, that's a whole nother story about Andy. I got some things to say about that at some point. But I, I do stand by. I think she's done with the NBC family. And um, that doesn't mean you have to be blacklisted in the whole town. Um. Look, I think Zeus is the right network. Yeah, me I mean too. they they gave us Bobby Lights, and I think that Zeus Nini should have a talk show, and Zeus is a little a uh, little sloppy. So right, like, is this talk show going to be what Bethany tried to do, or is this going to be a mixture of like, watch what happens with maybe a little you know Maury thrown in there? Not, I don't know if it's going to be like, who's your daddy? But like, if, you know, Zeus is a sloppy network, like they, they, they go there. So if this is, look, she just hosted Bad Girls Club reunion. Like if this is Nene, where she could be like a bitch, I don't believe you. Like if she can just be non-corporate Nene and just, like you said, uh, be of the people and interview people. Yeah. I mean, a talk show starts with your own personal monologue and then you go into the interviews I am here for it. I think this is a great fit. It's in LA, I assume. I assume she'll be here for work. I, no? I bet it's in Atlanta. Okay, I, well, I, there I you go. There I you don't go. think they're shooting a lot of shows in, in Los Angeles anymore. I mean, as you know, you live in California. It's a very unfriendly hey. business state. Hey. Okay, well, there you go. Even that, I, I, I think, listen, Perez, the younger generation does hate him. I don't really know why. I don't think we'd have a podcast if it wasn't for Perez. I agree with you. I mean, when he comes back on my show, it'll be more of like, let's talk about the current events. The first time he was on my show, I was very much like, thank you for my career because you did pave the way. I agree with everything you said. I think this is, I think for Perez to be so certain, this is probably happening. And I think it's a great fit, like more power to Nini. I have nothing against Nini. I just, I don't think she'll ever be back on Bravo and nor should you. Jill Zarin says she never wants to be back on Housewives. Jill Zarin is booked and busy. There is life after Housewives, especially now. So good for Nini. What do you think? Well, do you, I mean, it's interesting though. This, this story has been out there for a hot second. I don't see any other mainstream outlets picking it up from Perez. Why? I mean, Maybe he just got such a hot tip that it hasn't been confirmed. Um, no. I I love it. She's waited a long time. You know, she said she's 